A longtime Dearborn police officer found himself in handcuffs recently after being accused of assaulting his wife. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones reveals what happened next and how Dearborn officials are responding. Here on units, we're going to have a domestic in progress. Husband is a police officer. The call came in on January 28th, just after 10 p.m. The wife of a corporal with the Dearborn Police Department, who's also the police union president, said she and her husband had gotten into an argument after returning from a party. She tried to leave, she said, and he assaulted her. He slammed the door in my face three different times, and then he pulled me out of the car and twisted my arm so hard I can't move it. It feels like it's broken. And I was trying to go to my mom's house. And he's a police officer in Dearborn. Police in Huron Township were dispatched and responded quickly. You think you broke your arm, honey? I'm like, oh, my God, it hurts so bad. I can't, <laughs> I can't move it. Just stay on the phone with me, honey. What's your husband's name? His name is Walter Anhut, a veteran of the Dearborn Police Department and a celebrated one at that. In 2017, he was named Dearborn's Officer of the Year. To be recognized doing a good job in this of all years, it means the world to me. His wife told police this was the first time anything like this had happened. Ann Hutt later told officers he was concerned his wife was too intoxicated to be driving. But when questioned further by police, he declined to answer, the report says, and told officers there's no probable cause here. Huron Township police officers disagreed, concluding that Ann Hutt was the aggressor and arresting him that night for domestic assault. But Wayne County's prosecutor did not bring charges after Ann Hutt's wife did not cooperate. Perpetrating domestic violence is a choice. Oftentimes people conflate it with an anger management issue, and it simply is not. Johanna Kanonen is the director of law and policy for the Michigan Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence and says domestic assault within police forces is happening at alarming levels. It's imperative that we hold them to a higher standard because they're here to serve the public and perpetration of domestic violence just shouldn't be tolerated. Through a spokesman, the Dearborn Police Department says they initiated an investigation after Ann Hutt's arrest, and at its conclusion, the officer was suspended in accordance with our disciplinary and professional conduct policies. We expect officers to uphold our high standards of professional conduct at all times. The department did not say how long Ann Hutt was suspended for, and whether it was paid or unpaid. It is really important for police departments to be transparent about how they're dealing with this because um, perpetration of domestic violence by law enforcement officers is rampant. Reached by phone, Ann Hutt told me he and his wife are moving forward following this arrest, but otherwise declined to comment on the incident. Neither he nor the city would tell me how long his suspension lasted, but Ann Hutt did tell me he is already back to work. But we have covered so many times over the last few months these high-profile incidents, domestic assault incidents involving police officers. Heck, there was one in last month, uh, a murder-suicide in Detroit involving two Detroit police officers. Advocates are hoping that these incidents are taken more seriously. And it seems as though transparency would be more helpful. Certainly, certainly. Ross, thank you.